Spreadin' no hundreds, I don't win it, caught the new bag Also oh, if you baby, I'm talking do rag That nigga tryna be like me, he can't hold, nah, that's too bad Shittin' on these niggas all season, now they too mad Put up that Toyota Corolla, when it caught a new jack Surfin' on the highway and it's boring, this bitch too fat YouTube is your girl, Winky Tan, and I'm back with another For Your Mother So in today's video, we gonna be reacting to this one chick from New York She's supposed to be the cheapest woman in New York or whatever so we gonna see what she's talking about. I heard it's gonna be really nasty because she don't really use toilet paper and shit. But you know, we will see. I don't wanna judge anything before. Name is Kate Hashimoto and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I'm a licensed CPA. And I've lived in New York for three years. Although it is the most expensive city to live in, I found ways to get around it. I have only a dollar thirty here. Would you take that? If I have to spend money, I cannot avoid it. I will try to pay. Hello, pause. So she going to like a store or whatever to get some. And she can't even pay the regular price. She gonna go there and be like, I only got a dollar fifty or thirty or whatever it was. How you go? You know what? This video just started. We only 20 seconds in. I'm not gonna get mad. Yeah, as little as possible. I am a cheapskate for a number of reasons. After I graduated from college, I pretty much assumed I'd be employed for the rest of my life. But then I was a casualty of the dot-com crash. I've lost a career, not for $25. I learned that the best way to live is to be very frugal and minimize my expenses. It's gonna be $10. I have only a $5 worth of- Yo, she did it again. She did it again. She literally went to a store to get some clothes. The total was $10. She talking about some, I only got $5 in change. Can I get that? What? She gonna say no. Change. Did you be able to take five dollars for that? No, no. Unfortunately, I can't. You can't bring it down. Yeah, I wish I, I could, I but I can't. Yeah, then. Oh, that goddamn change. Sorry about that. Have a good day. I generally try to avoid spending any money at all. New York has quite a few venues where people can get together and exchange things. The Stop and Swap is one of the more formal free markets. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good, you thanks. Drop off? Yes, I do. People can bring things that they don't need. So Stop and Swap is probably like a little thing. Because I've seen that she, you know, she drops them off to get in. And then she just takes them elsewhere, I guess. I guess you don't gotta pay for it or whatever. To the stop and swap, and then anyone who goes there can take anything that other people bring. It might be a bit too casual for work. You never know what you're gonna find at the stop and swap. <laughs> Not quite. If I use a paper towel in a public restroom, I'm drying off cans that I washed clean, so I keep them and reuse them. You can reuse the paper towel menu. You can reuse the paper towel. Hold on, what? So she said she when she go to a public bathroom, she reuse the paper towels. First of all, there's already so many bacteria and germs or whatever on that piece of paper because it was in a public bathroom. And then you put it in your fucking purse. And you got so much fucking germs and shit in your purse, like Purses are fucking dirty shit. And then you gonna wipe your fucking- Times, why pay to throw something away? Especially when I can get it for free. I know y'all seen that look. I don't believe in paying for furniture. I have never bought- Don't tell me she finna get that shit out of the Furniture. Oh, there's some chairs. The dumpster. Hmm. Um, I furnished my place. Oh, shorty is wilding. Through pick- you pretty dirty. Picking up discarded furniture on the street before the trash picked it up. Now this is pretty dirty, but this one looks much cleaner. Well, I don't have high-end like upscale furniture, but. Okay, pause. So, not that she, you know, reused paper towels out of public bathrooms. This bitch is going through dumpsters to find furniture. You know, there's nothing wrong with being cheap or whatever, but that shit is not cheap. That's nasty. It's about $200 a month in basic living expenses. I own my own 
I own my own home free and clear. I just have to pay real estate taxes and condo fees. I'm surprised she even paid rent. I didn't pay anything for furniture. I got all the furniture that I have either off the street or from hand-me-downs from other people. Where I sleep, and uh, these are actually yoga mats that somebody was trying to get rid of, so I took them. I do consider my bed comfortable, and I don't really Yo, have any. Oh, Shorty is wild. Look at these dirty ass sheets. Absolutely outrageous. And here is my small kitchen. My place came with a dishwasher. The dishwasher is a waste of uh, water and energy. So, all right, so that's you know, that way I'm gonna let this slide because. I also got a dishwasher, and I've been using the shit out of my dishwasher, but you know, like, you could basically just wash it with your hands. But I'm pretty sure she's not even doing that. I'm probably sure she, like, spit on that shit and then rub it down with her fucking shirt or some nasty ass shit. Energy. So now it's just storage space. This is an electric, this is an electric stove that I got using a free gift certificate. I have this because my place came with a gas stove and oven. But the utility company was charging me $17 a month, minimum monthly fee, just for having the gas turn on. I rarely. So. Now the stove is storage. Pause, goddammit. What she's saying is that she don't even want to pay $17? $17 fucking dollars? You know, like I said, like, there's nothing wrong with being cheap or whatever. Maybe she poor. But, like, the problem with people nowadays is, like, I've seen another YouTuber saying this shit. The problem with people is they so focused on, they so focused on saving money. Meanwhile, all you should be worried about is how you make more money. Because if you make more money, then obviously you don't really got to save money no more because you got the racks. You feel me? Like, if all you worry about is fucking saving money, then... What is you doing? Like, you're not living. I really cook, so I got the gas shut off. Now the stove is a storage area. And I also... Table. I normally don't spend money on clothes. I haven't bought any clothes in probably eight years. The last time I bought underwear was 1998. Josh! Did she? I know y'all just heard that. She said 99.8. This bitch said 1998, my nigga, bro. What the fuck? That shit is nasty as fuck. Shorty's wildin'. At first, you know, I was like, cool, you know, she finna put us on. She finna put us on game, whatever, you know, everybody gonna, you know, save a few dollars. But that shit is fucking wild, like. She, she ain't fucking bought no new underwear for like 20 years. That's fucking disgusting. Like, that shit probably brown and fucking... I don't think I've ever bought socks. Yo! This is one of my other shirts that I've had since I was a child, pretty much. <laughs> and I, I got these shorts. These so big ass fucking shorts. I think it was $15. These are too wide now because they're elastic. Kind of so Shorty don't want to pay seventeen dollars for gas, but she want to pay fifteen dollars for a short. For the years, so I take this binder clip and I clip it together, and it fits fine. These shorts have lasted me a uh, thirteen years going on, and hopefully more years. I store my toiletries in this box. I don't believe in paying for toiletries. I'm subscribed to many different mailing lists and I also keep my eyes on freebie sites whenever I hear of any free sample offer. See, you know, that right here is not a bad thing. Like, like I just that shit one time. Like, I seen that shit one time. Like, I think it was on Snapchat or some shit like that. Like, I seen, you know, free fucking raises or some bullshit. Oh, well, you know, free raises, why not? I'm gonna just sign up. And then I see all these fucking questions they was asking me. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm good. I'm gonna just go to Walmart and buy me that shit. Like, it's not that deep. Like, 
all that shit that you gotta fill out like they be asking you so much shit. for that for something that i would actually use i would go and fill out a form here are some free samples of sanitary pads and tamp i mean it ain't nothing wrong with you know events where um freebies are being given out dental floss contact lens solutions toothbrushes toothpaste free samples of deodorants free samples of razors i'm a big fan of free samples Maybe I'm an extreme sampler. Talk your shit, mom. I don't do laundry. I have to pay quite a bit in quarters, so whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. Today I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. Okay, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. I don't know what to say no more because she's one like she just she was done showering i lather up the clothes i almost never do laundry yet. I think the last that time should have been was, um... maybe three years ago and i start wringing out these clothes yo just imagine how she smelled i don't um use the dryer not only does the dryer um, waste money, but it shrinks clothes and it wears clothes out faster. You can keep your clothes looking newer for longer if you don't dry them. Well, normally I would want to do maybe a load of laundry every- She talking about some, it don't worry, it, it, it'll dry away your clothes out. Y'all see her fucking shirt over here? Like, I could fit both of my fucking legs in that shit. Another week, it costs like $3 to wash and dry clothes. It'll save maybe $6 a month. I used to get my hair cut once a year at a beauty school and then I decided I would cut my own hair. A former roommate actually left this behind. I have heard that normal people pay a hundred dollars for a haircut. First of all, if you are a fucking female and you pay a hun like hundreds of dollars to get a fucking haircut, then you fucking bugging. Like a fucking haircut for like females or whatever is probably like forty fucking fifty dollars, if even that. I don't really know because I come on here, but no, oh, that that is that's very hard to imagine. I can't believe that. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself off. If I just urinated, I'm done with that, and then I dry myself off with one of the paper. All right, so all I'm gonna say right now, you know, there's nothing wrong with fucking washing your coochie or washing your asshole after you use the bathroom. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, like, you sit on the toilet, you shouldn't, and then you got your dirty ass fucking hands, and then you put that shit all the way in your fucking ass, and then you touch your coochie with that shit, like, you mad dirty, yo, like, this is not even fucking saving money, like, that's just... Sure got no type of hygiene. Towels I have. If I took a dump, then I also grab soap, wipe myself down with the dump. She taking the paper towels out of the public bathrooms that she dried her fucking hands off with and wiping her ass with this. It's the soap. And then I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. I don't believe in spending money on something that you're just gonna throw away, such as toilet paper or paper towels. <laughs> So that was the video. All I gotta say is she bugging. Like, I don't know what the fuck she doing. I don't know if that's like some type of fucking shit they got going on in their family or whatever, but she ODing. Like, who the fuck? You know, there's nothing wrong with fucking saving money, but like fucking using your hands and these itty bitty fucking pieces of soap to fucking wipe your ass off. Like, come on, bro. That's fucking nasty, bro. Shorty buggy. But she, you know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you want me to do more reaction videos, and you know, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, 1K Italian. And yeah.